Okay, God bless each and every one of you. It is 12.39, and it says I have seven minutes of video here. So I have a little bit I want to share with you guys. Um, I, I'm still sitting at the parking lot where I just showed you this video of a pagan town that was built by the Roman, Romans a long time ago. And it's no longer in existence. And that's why I remind everybody, none of these things that we're seeing and witnessing today are going to be in existence. It's all going to be destroyed and only the Word of God will remain. Uh, after I came back out from my uh, tour, well not tour, I walked by myself, but uh, I seen a, a Roman Catholic priest sitting there with, you know, he had his white collar on with three other people. And then a fourth ended up joining in. You guys remember when I shared that dream where I said we were all going down a river together at the same time? And then all of a sudden the people just turned and looked at us with hatred in their hearts. Just all of a sudden out of nowhere, like focused on us with hatred, bitterness. And uh, as I was witnessing with him, they were justifying sin. They were justifying it in their lives. You know, and he was smoking and saying how he smokes every day and he knows it's a sin. You know, but he just, he does it anyhow. And I guess pleasure, he takes pleasure in it. Uh, he says he drinks every day. This is a Catholic priest, okay? I never realized that they all did this like this every day, okay? I've seen movies where they smoked in them and stuff. But, I mean, I think they're a little bit more relaxed than some, I don't know. But, uh... I was telling him how um, scripture tells us Jesus came to destroy the works of sin. And I was telling him how in Romans it says those that yield themselves into sin, they are obeying the devil. And he's going, no, he goes, by the blood of Christ, we can, uh, all our sins are forgiven. They're, that he's not doing that. I'm going, no. It says you're clearly a child of the devil. Whether sin into death or obedience we and I said listen I used to sin every day I used to smoke every day I used to smoke pot every day I watched pornography I did all these things I know what sin is okay and I don't do these things no more instead I every day I follow Christ now if you're a pastor and a, you got a collar shouldn't you be doing this every day too uh, resisting the devil, knowing that this is a battle, a spiritual battle, and instead they justified. And he was mocking me the whole time. And not only that, you guys, people were getting mad at me. I could see them all looking at me, like, with anger, getting more angry. You know, when I was trying to tell them we can resist it, that sin is a choice. And those that sin are the child of the devil. And when I was saying that, they were getting mad. And uh, I, I knew this is what's going to happen, you guys. Just prepare yourself for it. I got to clean this camera out. I got too much stuff stored on it. Plus, I've got like a, I thought it was going to take me 30 minutes to get up on that hill. And I paused the video a lot. It's a lot of footage in there. But um, it, if I would have filmed it all, it would have taken an hour and a half. It's a long climb. If I would have been on here 30 minutes ago, you would have seen me. I was like wore out. <laughs> You'll see why when you see this video. But anyhow, you guys, um, don't be surprised. People are going to hate us, okay? I started to do a video about this, and I took it down. I took it down because um, God help them, you know? God help them. Um, you can't, there's no talking to them. Um, it's like it's like Jesus says. Jesus couldn't talk to them then either. And we can't talk to them anymore now than when Jesus could. And Jesus said if they hated him then, they're going to hate us now. And it's going to be because of him. Okay? Of him abiding in us. Okay? You are whom you obey. Whether sin into death or a child of God into obedience. So they're going to hate us just like they hated him. You know? And I just got... I had an experience of that. That dream that I had when I was younger. Um, wow. You know, when I seen, we're going down the river. And, uh, 
the people hated us, man. And they started throwing rocks at us. We got on the left bank of the river. That's why it reminds me of Daniels, because he, when he talks about the left bank of the river, that's where we were at. And, uh, wow. You guys, don't be surprised. This is going to happen, okay? I'm going to read again to you Luke chapter 10. Uh, 19 and 20. And don't forget this. Remember now, there's going to be more of them against us. But praise the Father and the Son the whole time. Okay, and remember this. They don't have power over you. Just because there's a lot of them out there doesn't mean they have power over us. It just means there's a lot of them out there that prefer to yield themselves into sin. They're the children of the devil. They're vessels of dishonor. This is what our scripture tells us. Okay, so don't... Um, don't don't spend your time building them up okay they're just vessels of dishonor this is what you need to be in the word of God knowing who you are in Christ 10 19 and 20 behold I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over the power of the enemy okay they don't have power over us and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you so Remember to encourage people here, you guys. Don't be beefing up the enemy on this channel. I really, I don't, I hate to hear that. I really do. Because there's so much scripture in here that tells us how much we are in Christ. And remember that. Notwithstanding in this, rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Okay? God bless you. I love you. In the name of our Lord and our Savior. Jesus Christ.